All right, day 19. I watched Don't Go Into the Wood or Don't Go in the Woods alone with a uh, with an explanation point in capital letters. Don't go into the woods alone. So, Don't Go in the Woods Alone is a slasher from 1981, and I've always heard about this one. I've wanted to of course see this cuz I love slashers. Um and this one I just hadn't seen before and then I found for 31 days of horror first watches every day. Um I saw this on YouTube for free and I'm like, I'm going to watch it. Finally, I'm going to get it out of the way. Um, this one is very weird watching this one. It's, it's very freaking odd. Like it is, it's weird. I would have thought I would have hated this one. Like, because it's weird. Most of these horror slashes are low budget, but I feel like there are some low budget horror that kind of really, or low budget slashers that really like piss me off. Like sledgehammer, uh, is an example of that. That one I just couldn't stand. Um, it was so bad. Or like Memorial Valley Massacre, like those kind of movies. And I was thinking, watching the opening, this was going to be like that. And this movie is incredibly low budget. It doesn't even have a score to it. Um, except for the end credits, they have somebody singing Don't Go in the Woods alone and somebody's just singing it, but there's no score in the movie. So this is really low budget. You can't even get a score. Um, that's pretty crazy. Um, the opening credits have no sound and I'm just like, did I get a YouTube, did they upload this to YouTube and they took the sound out? But no, whenever, uh, the characters appear, they start speaking you can, and I could hear it, hear the audio, but there's like no opening credits and I'm like, or no, it's no sound in the opening credits, which I was like, that's really weird. Uh, okay. Um, looking at this one with the acting in this one. I love the fact that this is incredibly low budget, like really, really, really low budget. And I, the acting is horrendous, but I loved it. I loved the lines from these characters. I thought that they were really funny um, because it feels earnest in how they're acting, but they're acting so ridiculously over the top performance wise. Um, there is a character with a, this is so mean to say, but she's got a big nose and she's got a nasally voice like this. And she literally, everything she says, I'm just like, is she actually pretending to talk like that? Or is she talking like that? And that's, a, and I'm not trying to make fun of her if she actually does sound that way. But I thought that she was really funny. And I thought the way that she talked in that nasally voice, it was like, where are you going? Where are you going? Kind of, kind of like she would say stuff like that. It was pretty funny and it worked. Um, in particular, she has one of the best death scenes in the movie. There's a scene where... She is in this camper. Um, somebody gets murdered outside. Uh, her boyfriend over gets murdered outside the window, the clear window. So blood splatters on the window. She goes, ah, ah, ah. And then, like, she gets tipped over in the RV. The RV tips over a giant hill. It lands on the ground. She's still screaming. It just suddenly flames up and blows up. And it was timed so well in how bad it was, like, how funny bad it was. It was genuinely funny. And I laughed really good at that. Um, I really like that. Um, I liked too, that it's just one of those movies that is extremely low budget. It's extremely just in that way, exploitive. Like it really feels like we are going to make this in two days and it is going to be released. And it, and I feel like that's what happened, which I was entertained, so I'm glad I was entertained by this one. I just thought I would have hated it. I honestly thought starting out it would have been like, like I said, Memorial Valley Massacre um, or Mountaintop Motel Massacre or like um, Sledgehammer, like those kind of slashers that are so low budget that I just didn't find much fun in. Um, this one I did. I found fun in this one as well. Um, I like too that the, uh, the the police characters in these in this movie are just so incredibly like, oh, these people have been missing for like three days. Let's give them another day. Let's just wait and then see if they come back. And those lines are funny. And there's a scene where they're up in a helicopter looking around the woods area and they're like, oh, don't see him. I guess we'll just go back tomorrow. And it's it's really just hilarious how they deliver these lines. They're just so ridiculous. Uh, I love to, there's like a kill where like, there's a baby in a hopper and like, person gets killed next to the baby, the baby just keeps hopping. And it just shows that for a while. And I'm like, what? And then even at the end of the movie, like there's a shot of the baby hopping again on the hopper. And it's like, that's funny, but like, what's the point of that? Like, did they run out of time? Like, did they just, 
or did they need to make time in the movie? Because the movie's like an hour and 20 minutes. It's short. It is padded as can be. Um, but I'm not going to lie and say I didn't love it. Like, or not love it. I liked it. I thought it was entertaining and just fun and enjoyable uh, in how ridiculous it was. Um, I like how there's also, like I said, the acting is so ridiculous. There's one guy who screams and his mouth is as wide as it can be. He's like, like this. Really, really, really big mouth. Like he's like just wide open mouth, like screaming. And it's just, re it's, it's hilarious. And I don't, I don't know if they were told to be this ridiculous or if they're just made or if they just were this ridiculous. Um, and the movie ends on the most anticlimactic, like horror ending ever. Like this is not spoiling anything. It's a slasher. Most, most people die and then like two people make it out. The two people talk to the cops. The cops are like, well, see ya. I like them. As, I like that couple. And then they walk down the, down in the woods. And then credits. You're just like, okay. And then it's got the song at the end. The only sound, audio sound besides voices in this movie is where a guy sings in the credits. There's no soundtrack to the movie. Um, and then there's a... Randomly, there's a name in the credits that's like... You know how you have all the name, characters and the names, or in the actors' names? There's one actor's name where it's like in a square box, like a white square box, and every other one is not. And I don't understand why. It's very weird. And like I said, this one just did, did a fun job for me. It is extremely, extremely low budget. But I expected to dislike it, and I'm glad that I enjoyed it a good amount. Like, I really actually had fun with it. So I'm so glad that this one actually was a welcome surprise and just being ridiculously exploitive and fun. So I dug it. I'm glad to, glad to have seen it. But uh, yeah, that's Don't Go in the Woods Alone. Um, so I've got, I forgot what the next movie coming up tomorrow is for 31 Days of Horror, but uh, but I'll have it up by tomorrow or whenever pretty soon. I'm kind of behind on reviews, so uh, it should be either the day of or the day after. Um, so I'll keep making videos and I'll see you guys later. Take care.